going to do a quick update on uh, some progress that I've made with regards to uh, robots, I guess, and getting pieces of software to talk. Uh, I was trying to write something myself a couple of months ago and uh, kind of a bridge between Python and C Sharp so I could uh, integrate that code uh, into uh, potentially Unity and control Unity and maybe even control Unity um, 3D models and facial expressions. Well, it turns out uh, somebody's already done 95% of that work. And uh, here is a link to the uh, website. It's Fax Vitar. And uh, I kind of got this up and running. And uh, it went into a little bit of detail uh, in here. Uh, I'm on Windows 10. And I'm not using Docker or anything like that. And they kind of go into that a little bit. But basically what this is, is you'll see this Unity uh, Vacatar, or Vax Vitar. Uh, I'm using Unity uh, 2018.3. And I can get this. I have taken this project of theirs, opened it up in Unity, and modified it uh, to where you only see uh, one uh, actor, which is this uh, 3D model. And what's really kind of cool about this whole project that these people are doing is that uh, you can control how the, uh, the facial expressions of how the, um, uh, the, or the, you can basically move the face with uh, a Jupyter notebook. Uh, there's also in this code where you see this open face, there is a uh, Windows uh, WPF uh, app uh, that you can uh, mod. You can take that code and you can modify another project, which is the Open Face project, and I'll get that running here in a minute and it will literally track your face and then send out the same messages. So you can pull some of this down. Uh, it'll show you how to install, uh, install the uh, the uh, MQ, the Zero MQ uh, bus, data bus, and that's what we're, we're using to control, go from C sharp to Python and whatnot. So I'll just get the demo up and running. Uh, this project right here is open face 2.1.0 and uh, you can get it from GitHub and this code is pretty slick. I just got it compiled uh, in release mode. I had to do some tweaking uh, and obviously graph in uh, the original uh, fax avatar uh, code to this thing called open face offline. Uh, so when this thing comes up and runs, uh, it you're basically going to connect the camera on your machine to this app. And actually before I do this, I'm going to go over into my uh, Unity Facts Avatar. Uh, I kind of move things around into this Facts module and I create a bash file which runs the proxy bus and then this uh, blend uh, pie. They're the things that are waiting to listen. They're listening for commands that either come from the uh, uh, Jupyter Notebook or from this app right here. So 
I'm going to crank up the webcam. There I am. And this is what you get for free. Well, uh, a little bit of work. Now you can see my face. Uh, you can see this box. They have some neural net models uh, in this open face project that's just amazing. And you have all these action units. So these action units are literally going over the wire uh, from C sharp to Python. And Python uh, is basically building a bus, a, a very simple message bus, and it's sending and it's manipulating the this data. So the next thing I'm going to do is go over to Unity uh, with this particular project, and I'm going to crank it up. And it turns out it's got uh, code in it that's listening to the 0MQ fax Vitar uh, message bus. So when we crank this guy up, uh, what we should see, I say guy, the Asian lady, and then uh, there's uh, basically my movement uh, be, being streamed over this data, this data right here, and then Unity is um, grabbing a hold of it and um, modifying the rig on the 3D model. So uh, I also was getting uh, up to speed with the different types of 3D models that are inside of Unity and uh, learning about uh, how to uh, determine whether uh, there is a, a facial rig inside of a particular model. But most of this code right out of the box uh, I haven't uh, modified this is just kind of uh, light year, uh, light years ahead of uh, what I was wanting to do, and it turns out there's these amazing people that are doing it, and they open source it. So um, I thought I'd make a quick video on this. I've seen a couple online. Uh, there are some integration issues that uh, you have to work on. Uh, obviously, you got to get the 0MQ uh, installed and up and running. Uh, you have to take uh, the individual's uh, source code. Here's the main uh, window uh, file that he modified. Uh, and you have to graph that in to the actual open face. Uh, project, as you can see right here, I'm using Visual Studio 2017, uh, and this is the code that you'll see from Mr. Huang that he added to the uh, Open Face um, project. So there's all these things that you have to uh, kind of slap together and know how they work, but it it's just light years ahead of what um, I was wanting to do and was trying to you know write it myself so uh, with this particular project now obviously um, you don't necessarily need to use the um, open face engine uh, to send the uh, facial uh, movements out to Unity, uh, now you can go in and programmatically uh, control the facial rig yourself using, you know, different types of models and things like that. Uh, one aspect of this project was the other video I had to where uh, the we're using the Google APIs to talk to uh, the an old. Uh, AML chatbot, and that's the uh, one of my uh, previous uh, uh, examples. So now that I have this connectivity uh, between Unity and uh, C Sharp, and or any other Python app or any other app, the the zero MQ uh, 
uh, message bus is uh, multi-platform, which is just fascinating. You can also run it uh, on a, you know, across the network. So uh, the point being is that my next project is going to be uh, when I communicate, uh, when I'm communicating with this person right here in Unity, uh, it's not going to be my facial expressions that are driving, you know, her uh, or his face. It's going to be coming from other code uh, that I want to, you know, work on uh, and send those uh, messages. Or, or maybe it will all run within Unity itself. But uh, the key thing is, is when I communicate with the uh, the the chat bot. Uh, uh, this person's mouth will start moving and uh, this person will be looking around and uh, uh, then will be getting involved in the uh, uh, more complex part of uh, doing conversational AI. So the uh, what's happening with this project over time is that there are uh, very, there's several different pieces of code that are running on several different platforms. The using zero MQ is very elegant uh, because uh, literally uh, the uh, two app, these two apps that were running uh, side by side in the background, they they don't really even know anything about each other other than the the ports uh, and uh, things like that. So uh, even though they happen to both be Python, they could be something completely different, and they're just listening for messages. So uh, it's a it's a still kind of a Frankenstein project going on uh, because there's so many. Uh, moving parts. No, it's not going to run on your phone. Uh, you know, uh, this this particular project and this particular chunk of code uh, and the proof of concept is something that you know I, I will most likely have. Obviously, running on a high end uh, PC might have several cameras uh, running uh, data into several. Uh, convolutional neural networks and NLP engines and things like that. There's just there's no way it's going to run on on something that's not powerful. So I thought I'd make this video, uh, throw it out there, uh, see if people are interested. If it gets some uh, likes and some hits, then I will. Uh, I'm, I'm not necessarily going to go and post repost everybody else's code. Um, because very simply it's already online uh, but I will post notes on how to get uh, the uh, systems uh, to work so if you want to uh, uh, follow along with what I'm doing uh, obviously Windows 10 with a relatively fast computer uh, Visual Studio uh, probably would be easier if it was 2015. I happen to have 2017 and I had to change some settings uh, in some build settings to get the debug and then the release version of the open face offline to compile and obviously there's some other uh, tricks where you have to uh, know w what apps to start up and in what uh, order. So if you got Visual Studio installed, if you've got Unity 2018.3 installed, uh, then take a look at getting the um, uh, the uh, zero uh, MQ installed. Uh, then uh, you could probably even load. Uh, you could load this. Uh, system up and experiment with the uh, Jupyter Notebook uh, which they provide 
uh, first and then take on the daunting task of getting the open face offline app uh, cranked up and compiled and getting it sending uh, uh, messages out. I'm going to try to take this ex this WPF example apart uh, and um, get it watered down as you saw it's got a whole bunch of stuff going on in the UI and I don't ne necessarily need that I just need something that's going to let me hook a camera up uh, and then uh, you know do uh, maybe potentially record uh, uh, you know almost like a puppeteering uh, type thing uh, which it's capable of doing but I will be watering down the user interface quite a bit because there's just tons of, of things that are going on and it's just too many uh, moving parts but I was pretty proud of myself uh, with the Unity stuff and uh, my next video I'm going to put out will have the uh, I've got a newer version of the Google and Amel chatbot uh, using uh, voice activity uh, to do hands-free uh, chatting with Amel. So anyway, I'm rambling on, but if you've gotten this far, I'm hoping uh, that this will, if you want to follow along, this uh, Git repo uh, will get you going. I don't, I'm trying to think where was the... Uh, if you look up, uh, if you if you look up OpenFace 2.1.0, that's also on Git, and you can pull down the source code uh, for the uh, Windows client, uh, and that's uh, I don't have that up in here, but uh, you'll definitely need this, uh, the fax, the tar, uh, to at least use the Jupyter. Uh, Jupiter notebook uh, and move things around. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for uh, listening to me ramble. I just thought I needed to really put this video out for people that are interested in the same thing because uh, these two projects, Open Face uh, and the uh, Facts uh, Avatar, are uh, they have just shot helped me out light years ahead of where I would have been if I would have been trying to uh, do all this code. I think Carnegie Mellon uh, uh, is the university that's uh, putting a lot of this stuff out and these these are the people to keep your eye on uh, as far as uh, conversational AI and if you want to uh, you know move uh, 3D models and their faces around things like that all right that's it for now hope you enjoyed it